I'm here with our Dr. Jen Ashton, a member of our GMA family who suffered a terrible loss when her ex-husband Rob took his own life. And now Jen and her two children are sharing their personal experience in her new book, Life After Suicide, Finding Courage, Comfort and Community After Unthinkable Loss. We're going to talk to Jen in a moment. First hear from Jen and her daughter Chloe about their loss of Rob. I always said that I kind of had the best dad. He was an amazing father and he was an amazing cook. We would go on these long car rides together and just talk endlessly about what I was learning in school or a book that I had read. When my parents told us that they were at first seeing a counselor and then that they were going to be getting a divorce, my brother and I were kind of like, okay, how different is it really going to be if dad's living across the street versus in our house? When we decided to end our marriage, it was a calm but sad ending. Rob didn't have any of the classic signs of depression that we learn about in medical school, not a single one of them. We saw each other three days before he died at one of Chloe's hockey games. I very often think back to the day prior to my dad's death and the actual day of. And right before I went to bed, I kind of took a deep breath and I said, wow, I feel so sad right now and I have no clue why. It was really unlike anything I had ever experienced before. That was a Saturday and at about 10.30 in the morning, um, three detectives knocked on the door. The lead detective said, uh, we found your name on the remains of your husband. And at the word remains, I collapsed onto the floor and I just started screaming, no, no, no. It wasn't until two weeks later that my brother actually said something that almost simplified the component of suicide. He said, dad died from a disease just like cancer, just like somebody with cancer dies and they're not weaker for it. Somebody who loses their battle with depression and dies by suicide is not weak. It's not their fault. In the recovery for me was definitely in stages. I was in really bad shape for a few weeks um, in every way. I didn't know whether I would ever be able to go back on the air. For as long as I can remember in this process, I've wanted my mom to speak openly about it. So when Kate Spade died by suicide and we found that out, I said, Mom, you have to talk about this. You have to talk about our experience. And I'm embarrassed to say, George, when it hit my family as a doctor, I didn't know a lot about it. And the more we can deal with it, the better and the more lives will be saved. And I just have to believe that you sharing your story today will help in that effort. I came off the air. I started to cry just as like a, a release that I couldn't believe what I had just done. Tragedy is a very communal thing, and we just want to do whatever we can to help whoever is listening that there's hope and that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that tragedy can make you stronger. Jen is here along with Chloe right there in the front row. You must be so proud. Oh, no words. I, I remember that day when you came on, and I know it was not easy for you at all, but you have to know now how much difference it can make for people. Yeah, George, I mean, and I thank you for being amazing for that because it was so hard, but you, you can feel like you're the only one going through something like this. And when we started to see the social media feedback after that episode that you and I did, we were blown away. And it was actually my kids who pointed that out to me and we were so struck by it. And that's really when we started to realize that by talking about it, we were helping others, but we were also helping ourselves. And, and where are you in your healing now? Still learning every day, um, a lot of therapy, some, some bad days, but thankfully more good days than bad days. And I kind of describe it as, I feel like when Rob died, I shattered into a million pieces like a plate. And to put that plate back together, there are a lot of ugly pieces, there are a lot of jagged pieces, there's a lot of glue over the top. But um, I feel intact, which I'm really, really grateful for. And I, I know that my kids feel the same way. And so if they're good, I'm good. 
Well, that is good for all of us, and this book is going to help a lot of people. Thank You're going to be back tomorrow sharing how the community of survivors has helped so many and resources for anyone struggling. The proceeds from your book are going to be donated to prevention organizations. And if you're struggling with thoughts of suicide or worried about someone who is, help is available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at the number you see on the screen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.